Hello, on this video, I want to show you how to format the output in C++ using the IOMANIP library. So the first thing to do here is to include the IOMANIP and now we can start writing some code. So the first thing I want to show you is the set with method. All right, so for that, I want to create some variables here. I want to create a variable int x1 equals 1. So here I create six variables with values, and now I want to display those values. So I'm going to put C out, then X1. All right, so here I'm just using C out to display all the values. And when I run this program, I get a mess like this. So this is difficult to understand, very ugly. So one thing I can do is to simply put a space right here. And by doing so, I create a little bit better outputs with a space here. We can use this trick here and create space among the values, or I can use the set with method or function and this set with method takes a parameter and we can say how many spaces we want in between the values. So in this case here, I'm setting to six spaces. And I'm going to do the same for every value. All right, so by doing so, now I have spaces in between every set of values. That makes it a little easier to see the values. And I can also put a end line here just to break these in two lines. And then finally, this is what I have, much, much better organized. And the other thing I can do too is to create a variable here with some value, whatever value you want. And then instead of putting literal constants value here, I can use the space instead of the values. So I want to put space here. And then if I do the same for every single method, then I can just change this variable and then consequently changing the space or the width on every single value here. So I can either come here and manually change every single one here, or I can use the lazy way. So I'm going to highlight these two lines. Now I'm going to press Ctrl H on my keyboard. And then the search and replace shows up here. I'm going to type the number six which is what I'm looking for. So all the six gets highlighted and then I'm going to replace with the word space, which is the variable that I have here. And I'm going to click on replace all. And then everything gets replaced for me here. So that's the lazy way for me to do that with one exception here, which had a number six here because it was a variable X six. So I need to fix this. All right. So now this is fixed, run again, and then it shows me all the values right here. So that's how the set width works. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is the set precision. The set precision lets you choose how much precision you have on a floating point. So to show that, I need to change this from integer to floating. So I'm going to do the trick again. I'm going to highlight everything here and then Ctrl H and then I'm going to look for int and I'm going to replace this by float and replace all. So all my variables now are float. And then I'm going to do this again. I'm going to search for the semicolon. Then I'm going to replace the semicolon with the dots and then one, two, three, four, five, semicolon. All I want to do is transform these variables here 
and choose some floats. So I have all these floats here now. All right, so now I have this value. I want to run this program again just to see where I am. So now I have these numbers, which are a mess. And I'm going to give a little bit more space. So instead of 5, I'm going to give a 10 space. Now it's looking a little bit better. However, I do not want all these numbers right here. I want a precision of 2 only. So I'm going to set the precision right here on the variable. So a variable x1 is going to get a set precision to be 2. And that means I only want 2 decimals after the point. All right, so I'm going to run this. And then when I see it here, I see a little bit of problem. And the problem is that I set the precision to 3. But when I run this, I only see 2 decimals here. I want to see 3. And also the other problem here, I'm seeing a lot of um, scientific notation right here in the bottom. If you like it, cool. If you don't like this, then we're going to add that word fixed right here. And that will bring everything to a more human readable uh, way. So make sure you use the fixed together with the set precision. All right. And the last thing I want to show you is the left and right. So when I run this program, I can see that all my numbers are aligned to the right. So if you look right here, everything is aligned to the right, nothing to the left. However, if I want to align everything to the left, I can just add the left keyword here. And then once I run this program, all the numbers now are aligned to the left. And if you put right, everything aligns to the right. However, the default is right. So if you put it right, everything aligns to the right. And then the default is right. So if you put right here or if you don't put right, then everything gets aligned to the right. All right. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.